Happy New Year. Welcome to Recap Wednesday. This is our first episode for the year 2023. And we are glad that by the grace of God, you crossed over the year well and here you are with us. I believe that this is going to be a great year and that God is going to minister into your life in all aspects of your life as you also seek to be in his presence. My name is Reverend Paul and I'll be taking us through the recap of the message that we went through this past Sunday. We are in a season of prayer and fasting but we started by looking at the definition of biblical fasting there are so many types of fasting that are taking place today but as i have mentioned as a church what we are undertaking is a biblical fast and the way we are fasting is that we are taking a partial 21 day prayer and fasting and as i mentioned on sunday fasting is very very important and for every child of God, every believer, every Christian is a discipline that we must develop. Richard J. Foster in his book Celebration of Disciplines defines fasting as abstaining from food for spiritual purpose. And as we saw, there are many benefits and blessings that come with fasting. Fasting is biblical. Fasting is a source of spiritual strength. Fasting enables us to know the true condition of our hearts. Fasting has the ability of unlocking breakthroughs in our lives. Now you realize that fasting is done either individually or corporately. When we take the 21 days of prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year, we do this corporately. As we look at fasting these 21 days, I want to encourage that it is not just a matter of missing food, but it is abstaining from food, taking time to pray and seek the Lord over the various things over your life, over the various issues in our nation, and also over the church. So the time that you are supposed to be feasting, it is a time that you are supposed to fast. You know, you take that time for prayer. One benefit of fasting that I would also want to mention at this point is that fasting enables us to hear God clearly. Is there an issue in your life? Is there a matter in your life? Are there mountains or even valleys? You know, probably something that you have been praying for for a long time. You don't know exactly what is happening or the direction to go. I want to encourage you. Try fasting and prayers. And as you do that, seek to hear what God is saying in that matter or concerning that issue. This can only happen if you take time to pray, read the word and meditate during the times that you have set apart to pray and also to fast. Let me end by saying that the best time to connect is the moments or the times you spend maybe for lunch, early morning for breakfast. Take those moments as moments of introspection, moments of hearing from the Lord, moments of engaging with him in his word and you are going to see great difference over your life this year. So I want to invite you. Maybe you have not started off the fasting as like the others. You can start now and join the others for this journey that we have taken at the beginning of the year. If you have already started, may you be strengthened and encouraged in the Lord and may you hear the Lord say, this is the way walk ye in eight. What a beautiful season we are in. That of seeking the Lord in prayer and fasting. God bless you as you continue waiting on the Lord and continue trusting and seeking as you pray and fast. Amen. <music>